this is the right stage of uh, the uh, patient age 45 years with uh, multiple cystic area seen at the lateral margin of this uh, testis and uh, this is the largest of the uh, these all tiny cystic area. There are multiple, numerous, pin sized uh, to sub-centimeter. These are all, you know, these are all cystic area. See that? With the, and there are these are there are also microcalcifications. This is the definition of microcalcification. You see these are all microcalcifications along with the, uh, this area is uh, now this concentrate if you concentrate on this region uh, the posterior lateral margin. You see multiple cystic areas, and uh, these are these are few cystic areas, multiple tiny cystic areas, interspread with uh, numerous tiny calcifications in the uh, right test, right testis, along with uh, uh, cystic area thin wall with fluid around. You see, this is the fluid around it and this measures approximately it measures approximately 2.16 centimeters and uh, <coughs> by 22.6 centimeters. So this is the dimension and uh, we see fluid, small amount of fluid here. This is the fluid around its lateral margin. These are the bubbles. This relating to the lateral margin with intact. This is the mediastinum testis, this area. This linear, linear structure. Now moving towards the uh, left testis. This is the left testis and uh, you can see that uh, there is an, again an area, now this area of microcalcifications all over uh, relates to the anterior lateral margin of the uh, of the kidney, no, of the uh, left testis measuring approximately well, 3.3 into 8.3 centimeters and the rest of the uh, if you see this uh, parenchyma of the uh, of the left uh, testis is showing normalcy mild force ecogenic, uh, ecogenic texture with no Hopefully, and in this region, whereas the wall of the left hemisphere is not uh, thick, no fluid is seen in this region. And then, moreover, there is no cyst seen relating to this region. Now, let's see if there is any. Uh, This is the area and we do see blood flow okay. yes it 
contains uh, and we see blood flow within this uh, area. this area yes there is flow in this way in this uh, uh, region uh, in the uh, right test is that we were seeing so these are suggestive vessels uh, these are the vessels, uh, these are all vessels, the cystic areas that we were seeing in the B mode are uh, suggestive of vessels with microcalcification. However, is there any, uh, let's see if there is any flow in this. Sorry, left kidney, uh, left testis, and uh, see that what is the situation in this region. This is the area in the anterior lateral margin of the left testis with multiple microcalcification, numerous for the microcalcification rather. And you can see a thick cord like structure. This is the spermatic cord, this region. This is the spermatic cord. Thick spermatic cord. It's clearly seen. And, uh, well, this is the area of interest for a Doppler, for a vascular study. Spermatic cord with uh, so this is our case of the day showing you uh, pathologies relating to both kidneys. Uh, sorry, to both testes. I am very sorry that I pronounce uh, kidney while it is a testes, and this area, in fact is uh, relating to the, uh, this extends and then this area becomes continuous with the uh, thick spermatic cord. rest of the test is normal. This is the uh, left testis, this is the right one, this is the case of the day, thank you very much.